one too what's up what's up i forgot i was on anyway <laughs> we're gonna talk about uh rhythms today in scratching so rhythms are like i guess every kind of music got rhythms it's just uh divisions of numbers of uh divisions of beats divisions of uh of sounds and the beats whatever i don't even know how to really explain it i just know it's like dividing the numbers right one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know what I mean? It's all. I just interrupted myself because I couldn't count that fast. But it's all divisions of numbers, right? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then you mix it up. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, 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 and on and on and on. You just mix up the numbers, and that's it. Class is over. So I'm going to talk about scratching different combinations with rhythms, all right? So you can throw whatever whatever technique you want into different rhythms. Who's in the chat? What's up, Tech? Fazal, you are Evan Randall, Scratch Cat Arthur. This is a uh, unannounced pop-up class. But I, anyway, I want to get right to the point. Any scratch you got. Ah, there goes DJ Vet. DJ Vet is the one that told me to do this class. He's, he was like, yo, Q, I don't understand what's going on with the scratches. Some scratches go slow, some scratches go fast. So that's why I want to do this class on what rhythms are. Obviously, I'm scratching real slow, so that's like one, two, three, four. Those are quarter notes, all right? All right, so in one bar, you got you got four four notes. One bar is pretty much four 
four counts, right? But you can also chop that one bar into, uh, let's, let's do it in two. How would that sound? Two, right? So that, I guess that would be a, I'm guessing that's a half note. I'm, st I'm still like kind of figuring out my music theory too, but I think I'm correct. I think one, is one note a whole bar? Is that, am I correct? One, two, three, four. I think one note is a whole bar. Let's try to do one freaking note. One, one whole note, let's see. In a bar. Here you go. One. Right? Okay, so that's one note. I think, I think I'm correct. One whole note. I should be saying it. I'm trying to get as scientific as I can. The normal um, language that musicians speak. All right? Then you got your half notes. One. <laughs> One. Two. All right? Then you got your quarter notes. One, two, three, four. And then you got your, um, what's next, eighth notes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. As you can see, when I say seven, I don't say seven because seven got two syllables in it. So musicians, we say sev, right? So when we count, it's... We just say sev instead of seven, because seven got two syllables in it. It might get confusing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You get it? And of course, you got your 16 notes, the ones I was trying to say earlier, but it's too fast. Let's try it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> I have to do it like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, eleven. See, even 11, it got uh, three syllables in it. I guess if you have to say 11, I guess musicians would say L. 12, 13 would probably be thir. 14 would probably be fur, four, four. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like maybe they don't say the whole thing. Maybe they just go up to the number eight and then just repeat it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Anyway, you guys get the idea. But a lot of guys, they don't know about this division thing that we are living in God's matrix. It's all numbers. And so we're listening to music. All we're doing is listening to a bunch of numbers and we're like, oh, dude. I'm... We're just dancing to numbers. So that's what this is. So let's, uh, let's get into a couple techniques. A lot of guys, when they scratch, it's good to practice in these numbers because then you get your speeds down. So then you want to go the next speed up from that. If you're practicing, you want to get a little faster. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I guess you can count that as, you can either count it as five notes or you can count it as 10, right? Ken Ark says, can you fit 32 notes in one bar. Yeah, you could cheat. You could cheat and do 30. Like I could just do a baby, a 16. Like I'm just doing sad. Right, that, I guess that's 16 notes. But if you just, if I'm not using the fader, then I would be doing 16 notes. Right, or you could do one clicks. Or if you're like, um, if you got some super speed, you could probably do it. You could, you could do a fucking twiddle or some shit. 32 notes. Anyway, you guys get the idea. Anyway, the point is we're trying to get all these numbers in there. So sometimes I like to I like to do numbers that no one really does. You know, a lot of people don't they don't do fives. They don't do I mean they do, but like 
rarely I'll hear DJs do fives, sevens, and uh, nines. It's always the odd numbers that uh, DJs don't really, or scratchers, I should say, don't really do that much, all right? So let's talk about, um, this guy said, who's this? RH Factor, what's up, man? This guy said, do a few crabs. Okay, like if I do a four-finger crab, that's going to make five notes. Then you could do that. That'd be like 10. You do it like that. Fives. What else is there? Uh, there's combos. I did a whole class on sevens. Sevens is just um, like when you get start getting into the higher numbers. It's really, if you break it down, it's a combination of twos and threes. All right, so if you wanted to do a nine, you just do three threes, right? Three times three is nine, right? If you want to do a seven, you would do like a, I mean, you could do a one click flare, which is four notes. And then a baby, I mean, I'm sorry, and then a OG flare, which is three notes. So it's a one click flare into an OG flare would be a seven notes. Right, and then once again, I just did a, a original flare three times right there. OG flare has three notes, so if I did it three times, that's nine notes, right? Are you guys getting this? It's pretty easy. You just have to know that concept and to, to be conscious of it, you start making all your patterns with all these numbers and stuff and playing with all the numbers. So a five, if you break down a five, it's just a two and a three, right? A two, and then a three. Right, two and a three, but if you, you could do it in reverse two, if you want to do fives, you could do a three, two. All right, so that's uh, fives, you play with fives, sevens, threes. Nines, those are the numbers that no one really messes with. Fives, sevens, and nines. Class is over, you guys get it? That's the concept. I mean, I could be here forever sticking all these combos in the certain scratch techniques. We could do it if you want, but let me see what's going on in the chat here. Uh, RH Factor in the house, my man. The tech said he loves it, DJ Vet. What's up? DJ Vet is the one, once again, is the one that told me to do this class on rhythms. But it's it's just kind of like, um, it's kind of a concept that no one, like when I was scratching, no one taught me that. I wish they did when I first started scratching because I was just doing it off of feeling, just scratching and having fun with the whatever. You don't, you don't even know you're doing numbers until a musician comes along and says, oh, you're doing um, quintuplets, oh, triplets, oh, um, whatever. This is a... Uh, you're swinging it now and all this stuff. So when I started hearing all that from musicians, I was like, oh, shit. There's a science behind it. I thought it was just by feeling. You know, you just, I mean, of course, there is. There is the feeling. You have the two sides. One is the scientific side and one's the spiritual side. And when you put both together, it's an amazing combination. But for the longest, I was just doing the, the, the feeling spiritual side. I never really knew that there was a... a a number or science thing behind it. So this is a kind of like, if you're just starting and you're just figuring this out, it's like, I'm glad you learned it in the beginning. Cause now you won't waste time. You'll be like doing all these numbers now. Oh, 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 oh,
So in that, that whole thing, I was just combining all these different numbers, really. Numbers and scratch techniques. So I hope you guys get it. I wish I really knew that a long time ago. DJ Vet said, sure, as long as Needle doesn't skip you good with the Audio-Technica table. Damn! How do you know about Audio-Technica turntables? I guess, uh... I'm missing um, what you guys are talking about in the um, in the chat here. This guy said, can I use Audio-Technica ATLP 120 for scratch? Damn, I remember that needle, holy shit. I just did a video about an hour ago about equipment from back in the days and pff, I think I had Audio-Technica t uh, needles. Those were my favorite needles back in the days. You just brought me back like freaking 30 years ago. Shit, that's amazing. DJ Jock, I love you too. What up, what up, Danny? Let's see who else is in here. Overkill. Evan Randall. That's right, DJ Vet. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Ken Ark. Can you explain triplets? All right, here we go. We're just going to chop it up in threes. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Let's do, uh, let's do some faster triplets. I guess you would call them sixth. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Those, those are eight. Hold on, hold on. Wait, what are those? Let's see. One, two, three. Oh, okay. So right there, I'm going um, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Let me see. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So those are just, a, well, I was just doing slow triplets, and then I was doing fast triplets, and then I did one kind of like a nine, which is three times three. I'll do that again. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's really nine notes, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Tick, 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 tick. All right, so there's nine. No, nobody really does that. I don't see too many DJs doing that. Uh, nine, let's see. How can we mess with that a little bit? 
Okay, look, look at look at a nine can also one, once again, going back to what I said earlier, all the numbers can be broken down to twos and threes. All right, so let's divide nine. One, two, three, and then you have six notes left over to make nine, right? So those six notes you can do one, two, one, two, one, two. All right, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. Right? If you guys can add, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about, right? One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. Right? So one, two, one, two, one, two, three. If you add all that up, it's nine. So once again, everything is twos and threes if you break it down. So I could either, for the nine, nine notes, I could either do three threes or I could do two threes and a three. Wait, wait. Yeah. <laughs> okay, look. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. That's nine. Okay? I was like, oh, shit, am I, am I, am I not saying that right? But you guys get it. There's some triplets right there, some faster triplets. Uh, anyway, I'm sure you guys got the idea. RH Factor said 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23. Damn! Prime numbers. Wow! That's dope. Let's do an 11 for the hell of it. Now that RH Factor, Factor said that. 11 would be 5 plus 6, right? 5 plus 6. So I would do this. All right, so that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, so that would be 11. Woo, that's tricky. Woo -hoo. So as you can see, you add all your combos in any way possible just if you got the numbers right you know it all fits RH factor said interesting how it's tied into scratching I mean this is a musical instrument every freaking musical instrument is all about these numbers Danny Andrew said have you been given a key to SF yet because you're the best thing to come out of the bay you know what I got a key to um, uh, Daily City which is right next to Frisco I guess they don't want me here. Okay, go to go to the other other city. Ken Ark says, so you have to fit three notes or nine notes in a bar, right? You don't have to. It can be in a bar, or it can be in a part of a bar, or it can be on 1.5 parts of a bar. It don't matter really, right? You can fit that anywhere. Like, like for instance, here's a, here's an example of like um, three parts. All right, there's three parts here, right? Okay, that's, there's three parts there. There's two back. I'm going one, two, and then one forward. Now, in those three parts, okay, it's a it's a triplet, right? One, two, three, one, two. Okay, you get that. It's a triplet. But what I'm gonna do that's interesting is I'm gonna do a one click, two click, and a three click within that. So this is gonna be watch, I'll show you. Let me turn this beat off. So once again, it's two back and one forward. Now what I'm gonna do that's dope is we can get real, you can, you can get real technical with this. You can pick any number you want in those three parts. So the first part is, of course, this one back movement. I'm going to do a one click. So I'm going to chop that in two. Now in the second back movement is I'm going to chop that in three. 
And then on the third movement, which I'm going to go forward, is going to be a three-click flare. So that's four notes. So check it out. One, two, three. One, two, three. But one click, two click, three click. Right? So that's what's dope about that. You, you do, it doesn't have to be a certain number. You could put all these numbers within the numbers. Mix up all the numbers within the numbers of what your uh, uh, the root scratch is. So it's, it, can, it can get real complicated, but I hope you guys get that idea, right? All right, here's, here's another. This is a basic-ass example. I, I taught this class. If you look back at um, one of the older classes, I forgot the title of it, but let's just do four notes, right? Here goes four notes. All right, four notes. Guess what? I'm going to do a one-click, two-click, three-click, and four click over those four notes. Here we go. All right, so there's another example of using numbers upon numbers. All right, let's see who's in the chat. Asthmatic, what's up? This guy said, if you only knew the magnificence of three, six, and nine, then you would have the key to the universe. Nikola Tesla. I heard that before. I like to use three a lot. Absolutely. Sometimes when I'm producing music, I'll be like, hmm, decibels 27, decibels 24. I like using the multiples of three. Absolutely. Because of N Nikola Tesla said that, I would always do that when I, when I mix down music. DJ Vet. Robbie N. This guy said, a good exercise would be to count a scratch pattern out loud, then try to imitate it. That's what I was telling Vet earlier, is in jazz, they have a, a rule, which is say it before you play it. So I guess with us DJs, it'll be say it before you scratch it. Chick -er or chick -er -er. So, in that scratch, I just noticed that there's another number we forgot to mention, which is the number zero. Okay, I could put a one click, two click, three click. How about zero clicks? All right, so there's there's also just no notes. And then there's also, if you're thinking about doing a number click in there, don't do a number click. Like, here's, here's one I do. I just do a drag. I do no clicks. I just go a drag, no click, and then into a two click. Obviously, it's, it's a one note, but I'm not doing any clicks. So zero is an important number that you can add in your arsenal. It is an amazing thing to mix up all the numbers. Because I notice a lot of DJs are not mixing up numbers at all. This is, uh, for, for the most part, I hear a lot of DJs do this, and it's just this, and that's it. <laughs> I'm just hearing that all the time, and that's just pretty much one number. So anyway, I hope you guys get the, uh, the idea of mixing up different numbers, doing them slow, fast. Try to at least per scratch. I learned this uh, when I used to hang out with uh, Rafiq and his parents. His parents were classical musicians, and they said, for every uh, scratch technique, have at least three rhythms. So have at least three numbers, right? So if you got your boomerang, right, that's one rhythm. Then you wanna do it slower. Then a faster one. So mix it up. Alright, it's 
nicer to have, of course, I want to try to get a, a gazillion rhythms, but at, at least have three different numbers going on per technique, all right? DJ Vet said, I love it, bro. Silence is golden between the bass drum and snare. There will be bomba dropped. You know what's up. DJ Pilla. DJ Boomerang into a crescent flare combo. Ooh, that's nice. Let's try that. I love that combo. Who said that? DJ Pilla. Boomerang into a crescent flare combo. I love that. That's dope. Danny Andrew, man, thank you for the 10 bucks. Word up. All Stars, you said you should get Rafik on the show. You know what? Me, D Styles, and Shortcut is going to go to uh, uh, Algorithm in Germany. We're going to, I'm going to try to hook up with Rafik. The only problem is last time we went to Germany, we asked where Rafik lived now, and I think he lives in, I thought it was Cologne or Dusseldorf or something, but we're in a different part of uh, Germany. What the hell was it? Some other place in Germany, but then, yeah, that, that'd be cool. I love Rafik. Everybody follow him. That's the man right there. He's uh, one of the world champions and shit. That's the homie. He's, he slept at my house for... I'm, I'm going to say he slept at my house for three months one time, man. All we did was practice and play video games and, and just enjoy life. Man, that's the homie right there. DJ Onkyu, what's up? He lives in Dusseldorf? What? Ah, oh, that's sick. <laughs> RH Factor said 69 is definitely magic. <laughs> RH Factor, Munich. Yes, yes, that's right. This guy said, when scratching and you release your hand from the record like forward scratch, which part of the bar do you release your hand most? Ah, ha, ha, ha. That's an amazing question. And I did a long ass video on that. Go back. Look, look for the video I just did maybe a couple days ago. I talk exactly about that. It's called rhyme rhyme placement rhyme placement is um an important video also there's another video called displacements that i think on here uh, uh named it he called it displacements those two videos watch those two videos but i'll just do a recap on it basically i mean there's way more to it than than what i'm about to say in those videos i explain all kind of stuff but it's basically you're rapping like an mc Right? So you release it wherever you want. But in that video, I explain the exact spots to where they go, really. So you can see. You can release it wherever you want, really, but there are funky places to make it, to make it funky. And there's, I explain where those go in, um, in those videos. So watch that. Is that right, RH Factor episode 35, DJ Vet displacements? Yeah, that video is super important. Cause I didn't know too. I was just like scratching and just trying to. I didn't even know to make it rhyme, to make it funky like that. I was just scratching, just whatever. This is this is what I I would just scratch like this. Like zero rhymes, nothing was uh, making sense. There was no com composition. There was no um, silence. There was no numbers. It was just one number. And uh, what is <laughs> number fast? And what else was there? Uh, yeah, I didn't have any idea of, of, uh, what do you call those now? Um, syncopated notes. I had no idea of, of counting, counting, uh, rhythms, all that. I didn't know any of that stuff. So it was just all feeling and shit. Ooh, DJ Pilla said reverse chirp flare into boomerang. Mirror that combo. Man, I love that. DJ Pilla, man. That's sick, bro. Everybody follow him. Hopefully, uh, yo, DJ Pilla, do you have a, a um, that combo on your page? We'd love to see that. That'd be cool, man. I love that. Reverse chirp flare. That's a reverse chirp into a boomerang. That's a 
good ass combo right there. A lot of people don't mess with that one. RH Factor said, Displacement is episode number 33. I put that, uh, like I said, the power of, thir of three is very important, the Tesla said. So I purposely put Displacement on episode 33 because that's my favorite uh, secret that I had learned when I was a kid about scratching. And he said, Rhyme Placement is episode 35. What? Watch those two videos. Very important. Uh, Robbie said, without number counts, there's no order, just chaos. That's true. Unless, unless you're super, how do you call it, in tune with the universe for some reason, and it just comes out awesome. Like, I would have to say, like, uh, I don't know how, how far Jimi Hendrix got with, uh, like, music theory. I heard he didn't know how to read notes or none of that. Maybe one of those guys that just scratch or play guitar or whatever, play their musical instrument without scratch theory, and they're just going by feeling that sometimes that happens, and it's awesome, and they don't need what we're talking about right now. Sometimes what we're talking about could uh, 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 might ruin what they're thinking. They might be thinking out of the box, and then it might be a beautiful thing. Just like, leave it. Don't even tell them about, <laughs> about <laughs> uh, rhythms and, and scratch theory and things like that. All right, y'all. I guess I'm going to head out, but um, you guys got any questions? DJ Vet said pregnant pauses. Yeah, we talked about it. Do we, we have a class on that? I know I mentioned that, having a pregnant pause. I think it was called pregnant question. That's what it was, a pregnant question. A pregnant question is like, you know how sometimes... You pause like that, and then you answer later. That's kind of what uh, scratching is. I, I think we did a class on that, but if we didn't, I think we did, but we mentioned it, but not a straight up class on it. So that would be a question, and I'm waiting for the answer. It's pregnant, and it's about to give birth right now. So that's what that is. You guys pause as long as you want. I mean, in general, you don't want to have the listener waiting too long. But if you want to be humorous, you go wait a whole hour and then end the scratch. Answer it later. This guy says, Q, go play these numbers so we can hit the mega jackpot. <laughs> Ooh, All-Stars. Aya would love to come back on. She's got a lot of new information about health. We're going to bring her on. Yes. Ultra G said, music is all about the emotions you feel the beat. I love that too, yes. That's that's the spiritual part of it, right? We were, earlier we were talking about having the spiritual part and the scientific part combined. It's kind of like life right now. Like It's almost like um, they don't want us to know that spirituality and and science are supposed to be together. They're, they're separating it and shit. But with music, we do both and it becomes awesome. This guy said, I meant... <laughs> DJ Pilla said, I meant to say reverse OG flare into boomerang, then mirroring it. That's sick right there. That's some dope shit. We did a whole class on uh, drawing all these combos and then mirroring it and then turning it upside down and then looking through the paper on the other side and then turning the paper vertical and horizontal. Man, there's so many combos. It's, it's uh, endless. All Stars says... Much love from the UK. What? Where are you guys from? I, this is a pop-up once again. I didn't tell anybody I was going to be on here. Or actually, I did on twitch.tv slash DJ Cuber. But I, I did a class a second ago about super-duper basics. So what I was going to do is I was going to separate all these classes, these uh, Wisdom of Wax classes. I guess na uh, even numbers will be complicated shit. Odd numbers will be basic shit. I guess we're at... Episode number 40 of Wisdom of Wax. Wow, episode number 40. That is pretty ridiculous. Pretty ridiculous. DJ Vet says, same thing when you give a speech, say something, wait for silence, then smack them with a the punchline. Yep, yep. The old world era is catching up for sure. What's up? You guys watch that uh, series on Tartaria on um, Rise.tv? I put that whole thing on my Twitch, one of my Twitch streams. I just put, like, I think we went for four hours watching 
this Tartaria series. If you haven't watched it, go support Rise.TV. One of my homies is in there. Uh, Rob, Rise.TV or Edge of Wonder. They got kicked off YouTube for giving out information that the um, the controllers don't want us to see. Watch that, Rise.TV. But you gotta uh, you gotta subscribe to it. I think it's like uh, ten bucks. But they kicked them off YouTube. I heard the pe I heard the people that are are, are doing that that are, are censoring free speech, they're about to get sued and shit. So that's a, that's a great thing for us because I'm about free speech. I love free speech. I'm not about, don't look there. Don't look at the man behind the curtain. Don't look there. Why not? I want to look there. I like looking up the skirts and all. I like looking at everything. All the magazines when I was a kid I was not supposed to look at. I like looking in those. I like free speech. But anyway, it's a beautiful thing. Those guys are amazing. Also, uh, what else is there? Nino's Corner TV. You gotta check that out. If you guys want to see some behind the scenes shit that they're doing, all the magician, the evil magicians are doing. I want to see what they're doing so I could not let their tricks affect me. Anyway, I'm just gonna um, talk about our magic tricks here, the scratching, the good magic tricks to make everyone happy. I like doing classes like this for free because I want to break out of that freaking matrix system and I want to just do stuff that's forward I think the future is we give people free stuff and it comes back to us in happiness I get happy when you guys say hey man I never knew that I can apply that to my stuff and it's gonna make the rest of the world happy I, that's my thrill I don't I'm not tripping off I mean I appreciate if you send funds and all that but the more happiness I get is from people being happy I'm just kind of like that but with that said, I hope you guys have a great evening, great day, and all that. I love y'all, and I'll see you on the next. I hope this rhythms class helped you. I didn't really get too deep into it. Maybe we'll do a part two. Uh, leave, a, leave some comments in the comment section and let me know what I missed out on or what we could talk about more on future words. Uh, wisdom of the wax classes. <laughs> Did I say words? Words? I almost said uh, um, words of wisdom. Wisdom of the wax. I'll see you guys on the next, all right? Let me know what you guys want to talk about later.